Welcome to the Sound Live! Now we've been um, we've been doing a lot of reactions to the YouTube Indonesian superstar Alip Bata, and a lot of our great friends Alipers have been requesting that we check out Alip's. Um, uh, I don't know if he's his teacher or just an influence, but there's somehow uh, Alip definitely uh, appreciates uh, this other guitar player. Uh, that we're going to be checking out, named Faye Esson. Further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Faye Esson, Corazon. This is his original song, pop flamenco genre, and we're watching him live! Here we go!
That was that man. Okay, so as a music teacher over the years, I've had several guitar students that wanted to learn flamenco, and you know, my my um my boss Mary, she was a great mentor because she said, you know, you read great, you play great. She's like, all you got to do is find out what book they're going to be getting. And I'll make sure I have an extra copy of it in the store. Just read the first two or three chapters ahead and you'll be fine. You know, just stay two lessons ahead of your student. Just teach them. I was like, you never played flamenco before. Who cares? It'll be cool. I was like, yeah, let's do this. Right. So we ordered some books and I started teaching flamenco and like, like that technique with the, where you, you play the note three or four times, like you play it and then you play it again. Uh, That's hard. And he just made it sound just so smooth. Like, just, and I mean, like, all those crazy arpeggios, he was all over the neck, you know, playing the bass lines. And then he start halfway through, then he brings the golpes in. And you've got this full-on Latin beat going while he's playing it. And it was just, just like a leap bata, there was, there was full attention paid to the melody the whole time. Now, maybe it wasn't quite as clear because it was on the nylon string, whereas the steel string, the melody tends to ring out a little bit stronger, um, easier anyway. Um, that's my experience with it. But, like, just, I just, it was just so masterful and just fun and, like, emotional at the same time. Like, I just love how the composition developed. And I'm just like, I mean, I guess maybe, you know, when you wrote it, like, to, to remember it wouldn't be so hard. But I'm like, man. Like, if you're going to try to cover that, like, how would you remember all that music? It's just so much. And it might not seem like it, but it goes by fast, especially yeah. once those goal plays come in um, and start making all that crazy percussion, you know, that. I love that beat anyway, you know, it's a cool, cool beat. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was trying to uh, remember. The, the first time I watched it, because I, I had some, you know, different ideas and things since, you know, I kind of had a basic idea for what to expect for the music and everything. I, I like how he had a mix of, you know, like, I guess, traditional or proper flamenco. And I'm only saying proper is, you know, for lack of a better description, but something that like if you were going to study Bible. flamenco, something you would learn yeah. as opposed to something you're going. I think you're supposed to do something kind of like this because no, no, his no, gold pays. Well, some parts was some weren't like, like okay, okay. some of the gold pays, you know, he's like drumming a beat with his fingers, which is not what you do for a gold pay. Um, his, it looked like he was doing like a, a flamenco style tremolo and flamenco style as opposed to like, you know, like usually like a classical style, you got your three fingers and you have a ghost note, you know, so you're doing like yeah. 16th notes, like, like one and a two and a three. And the hard part is, is a gallop. Um, you know, flamenco, you got, you use your pinky as well, too. It's one of the few times in proper finger style that you would use your pinky. He had a bit of a gallop, you know, I, I, I'm not going to lie, but you know, it, it's a tough technique to do. Uh, and some high end classical players just use their fingers like this, which is kind of interesting. Um, but I, I like the envisioning of what he did, uh, you know, you know, cause, um, th- thinking musically, he had the, you know, Spanish Phrygian, which, you know, you typically do on the open E, you know, you got the, an E chord and then an F major chord, you know, that, that minor major two chord, minor two major two chord, however you want to say that. Um, yeah, the, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, and, and it's, to me, it's always fascinating when someone, listens to something like that from a different culture, different time and place, and they get so much right. And then the parts where they have to fill in the blanks to go, how do I make this sound with my fingers? And and he does, does a great job at that. You know, it kind of emphasizes that exotic uh, nature of the, of the style. So, yeah, I mean, I think they, I'm pretty sure they do that just to kind of get that in there, like give it that flavor. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. If, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, I was thinking Paco de Lucia the entire time, especially just watching him do. That's um, a compliment for sure. The, yeah. For good, but, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, his tempo control was like on point. I was well, just he's like, live. he, he mean, smoothly. Yeah. yeah. It was so smooth. Uh, like the transitions 
when he would speed up and slow down and yeah it was just like okay yeah you have a you have you have a uh um a hold on on tempo control sir <laughs> i mean that's that's hard to accomplish it's really hard to be that he understood the assignment if you, if you know that mean yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ole Olsen yeah, just yeah, pronounced yeah, yeah. Ole Olsen <laughs> o- o- Ole Olsen Olsen pronounced Ole Olsen has just subscribed. Thank you for subscribing. Ole <laughs> Olsen. And thank you for letting me know how to pronounce Woo! your name. I appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> that'll, that'll be handy later in chat time. Um, yeah, yeah I, I really enjoyed it. I Faye is, is so inspiring and like you could just I would I was watching his face a lot, his head, because you can get a lot of clues from people's eyes. And, I mean, he didn't look at the camera pretty much at all, which is fine. Um, I don't think it's necessary. He was, like, the camera wasn't even in the room, and he was just doing his thing like he's done 10 million times. Um, There was no, you know, nerves or anything like he was just so relaxed and in the zone and there was a couple of spots that weren't 100 percent perfect and i heard it and i don't give a flying f because uh i know how difficult that is each of those different techniques and he used like 10 different ones and you know um it was a little bit of a gallop it wasn't you know exact 16th notes but i mean i thought it sounded incredible like the 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 sound of it worked for me even if uh that fourth 16th note was a little bit of a ghost um that's okay um it still had the feeling of you know it's like it's like it's like you're a marionette you know and it's like pulling your you know it's like that sound is just so for me it just sucks me in i don't know i love it I love it. And I love the moving bass lines along with the melody and the percussion. Anytime anybody's got that going on, you know, the melody, the percussion, and the bass line. I mean, that alone is just, that, that's a feat. You know what I mean? And then you start throwing a little bit of chord tones every now and then in the middle for a little bit of harmony. And I mean, that's when I'm just completely blown away. My hat's completely off. And I'm like, wow, you sound like four people at once. Incredible. You know, that's hard to do. <laughs> Please make sure you support the studio at patreon.com slash Matthew's Music Lesson Studio, where you can get exclusive weekly bonus content. You can also support the channel at liberapay.com slash Matthew's Music, the nonprofit way to go. Or no commit, buymeacoffee.com slash Matthew's Music. Help me to get that crazy, uh, geeked out, caffeinated sound that Kyle and Eve were asking for. Also, <laughs> Venmo, send me a tip at Matthew's Music. So, thank you, Kyle and Eve, and I'll see you next time on see The ya. Sound Live. Bye.